Hey guys, uh, we're here with Justin Wong. I'm Todd Roy. We're going to be talking all about the Fight Club event that we just had in Las Vegas at the Esports Arena. Awesome idea. This is part of your brainchild, and I want to I want to get to that. But what's interesting is that music video we just saw, Street Fighter All Nighter. That was the first time you and me. I was the guy in the dress, sadly. Uh, <laughs> that was the first time you and me and Jace kind of like hung out together. Mm -hmm. I think. How did you get involved in that music video? I really don't remember. I um, because <laughs> you know a lot of things happen like so fast during that time. Because before everything that like music video, it was during the same time as uh, Evo 2010. I was like gone off the grid for like two months. Yeah. Because I was on a reality show. So I literally come back to all these different messages and like all these different requests. Like, hey, we want to do this music video. We uh, Evo's coming up. This tournament coming up. So. I'm going to say it's like it was in the bulk of those messages for sure. And so there's Jay's. Jay's like, hey, I'm doing a music video. I need you to be in it. We got cosplayers jumping around and fighting, and thus was born music history. By the way, 2 million views on YouTube. That oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. 2 million people see me in a dress. Yeah, got that. So then, so the reason we're here, uh, by the way, thanks for being here. And also, we got Twitch chat. I don't know how many people are in the Twitch chat, but guys, we do have a window here with the Twitch chat. If you want to ask any questions or say anything, feel free. Because right now I can see Jaden A says, hey, and Borling, Broling, I never pronounce Twitch names good. Brolin. Brolin, thank you. I, I would have struggled with that one. Says, give me H1Z1 hoodie. No! This is about Fight Club. We're talking <laughs> about this right here, guys. We're not talking about H1Z1. We're not talking about the Taunt Fest. We're talking about Fight Club. That's when you know you got to make a Fight Club hoodie. Uh, well, that could be coming. If we, do, if we turn this into a number two. Okay. Okay, there could be Fight Club hoodies, and that's dependent upon how the stream goes. Okay. It's all writing on this. <laughs> no pressure, though. No pressure. So here's, here's the plan. I have a laptop right here, and we actually have your match queued up, uh, the one where you, you, you played against Yipes and you played against uh, Sanford. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to play it. It's going to be in an overlay, so we could sit here and just talk about it. Uh, we may have some people popping in and saying hi throughout the stream. Uh, but that's all, that's all this really is. This is just a chance for us to kind of like deep dive into what was going on in your think piece while you're playing that. Mm -hmm. But uh, before we get to that, I do have some B-roll footage from the Fight Club event okay. that I was going to show. We could just talk over it. It's like a minute and a half long. So, guys, if any of you out there are watching and you have no idea what the Fight Club was, it was an event that we threw at the eSports Arena in Las Vegas. And, uh, hey, Neostorm, can... Can we take a look at that B-roll footage? And uh, we can just talk over this. Even I didn't see it yet. Yeah, I, yeah. we just strung this out today. Okay. So this is, this is a little bit of the, the B-roll stuff from Fight Club. So there's Sonic Fox, of course. He was our main event. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what the stage looked like out there at the eSport Arena. There's Sonic. There's uh, Goichi right there playing. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they they had a, the thing about this event was it was a good time for everybody pretty much, right? It's a storied rival for the year because Dragon Ball is a new game and those two always met up like in the end. Uh oh! Spoiler alert! There, that was Yipes winning. He's uh, he defeated. There's a uh, uh, Neo, Neo, Golden Boy Neo versus Executioner Desmond. Yep, and uh, another shot of the main stage right there at the esports arena. There's that guy. I believe that's uh, Charles Barkley. Charles. I believe that's Charles Barkley. Look at that handsome fellow. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there's uh, F Champ, um, Neo Storm back there, disappoint, disapproving. Uh, there was our lovely host yep, uh, at the show. event. And this went, this was on Saturday at Evo. Here comes Saint from the Echo Fox team, one of your, uh, your brothers. Um, he's very, he's hilarious. He's uh, a very funny guy. Yeah. He's, he's also in the really, he's also big in the sneakers as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah you are too, is from what I, I understand as well. Um, their match was pretty fun. Uh, of course, there's uh, a little bit of the aftermath. Uh, our own, oh, there are you. Now, why are you guys sitting on that? I want to, is that to keep stability of the well, joy controller? I mean, the sticks are pretty heavy. Yeah. They're really big. It's really like, because they're called MAS sticks, M A S. So it's not like the current joysticks from like Kanba or like the Razer. Like they're more like compact and small. These are really like they're bricks. Yeah. Like you could kill somebody with these sticks. <laughs> for Physically, sure. not just metaphorically. Oh, now we're back at the beginning. So that was a little bit of the. We we might play that again as more people get into the stream mm -hmm. and stuff. But overall, now confession. I talked to you a little bit about this before. I'm. I have above average knowledge of the fighting game community. I hosted some stuff before. I've known you forever. Mm -hmm. But I'm more into like uh, Battle Royale games, the H1Z1 community. So my knowledge of the rivalries and the history of some of these matches is like that big. Yeah. So forgive me if I'm asking dumb questions. No, no worries. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Um, 
But can you, this tournament, the Fight Club, from what I understand, it was a very different tournament from any other FGC or EVO events, primarily because it was just classic rivalries. Yeah. There was no brackets. There's no, it was just It's pretty fun much matches. like dream matches, right? A lot yeah. of matches where people would like, you know, hopefully this will happen in a tournament, but sometimes you can't predict the tournament result because these players might not reach each other in the end, right? So Fight Club is one of those things where people can see those matches happen if it doesn't happen on the main stage or in the main tournament. Why, why has this not happened before, do you think? Like, mm. why, why was this, this particular, because the FGC has been around since, uh, before I believe I was the, playing. Yeah, before you were playing. I believe that the settlers, when they, when they settled the West, came over with computers and played okay. Fight Club. Uh, no, but how come, <laughs> how come this hasn't happened before, do you think? I feel like there, there are times where exhibitions happen but it's not to the extent of this where you bring like the old games and also to the modern games and just put them together. Like that never happened before. Like there are times where the tournaments will have like, have like one to two exhibitions here and there, but that's more of like a, like a modern thing. But when it comes to like, hey, let's have like matches from like Marvel 2 to Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo and let's bring it, let's fuse it with like Dragon Ball and Street Fighter 5. No, I don't. That never happened. Yeah, really. that was that was a, a, a crazy uh, mixture of all that. And how do you think about the? Because here's the thing, uh, the players that I talked to, like I talked to Golden Boy, I talked to Alex, I talked to F Champ. They they all said they had a great time. Mm -hmm. Like everyone had a really good time at this event. It was no pressure. It was just fun. I mean that's that's the that's the beauty of it because it's like a Saturday night after Evo and then you know they're gonna play an exhibition match where you know you don't have to worry about playing on a Sunday. Yeah. You know, they want to play on the main stage. You're giving them like their time to shine, or and also players that didn't even like enter Evo they just went for the Fight Club like Golden Boy Neo and, and Executioner, they didn't enter Evo at all. They yeah. came strictly for their Marvel Two match. You know. Gotcha. And by the way, the Marvel stuff was very popular because it's not really expressed very much at Evo. Yeah, because you know, like the the latest Marvel game they put is Marvel Infinite, but that's not an official Evo game. So I would say like the last greatest Marvel for Evo was Ultimate Marvel's Capcom Three, and then Marvel's Capcom Two. Those are the two that really stood out at Evo the most. See, this is where I my knowledge is small because I don't know the differences really between those games. And I'm sorry out there, <laughs> fighting game community. My brain can only hold so much gaming knowledge. Mm -hmm. We can go H1Z1 deep in the weeds. I got that. Yeah, I never played that game before. Yeah, I could tell you all about that. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, the, the, the history of some of these matches and the different iterations of the games, it's like I, I got the basics, but this is why the thing that I like about it is as, a, as an outsider kind of like looking in and watching it, I can just, I, I don't know of any other esport that has the passion and, and the history that the fighting game community has because you you guys go back like years i saw videos of alex like oh, when yeah. he was like 19 years old he's still the white white beater right yeah and then when he came back uh, a few years ago as a as a old guy and and kicked ass and reclaimed the championship or not i don't think it was the championship but he he definitely bracketed it up and and kicked the crap out of that oh, God, i want to say it was a korean player i can't remember but it, this is the thing that you guys know each other an incredibly long time yeah and you could be successful in fighting games into your middle ages yeah I think it could be any age where you could play fighting games competitively just because you have the experience and you know you have like these uh, what they call as old man tricks yeah so that only old school players um, do in terms of matches so new school players might not be familiar or they don't have the experience against these like old tactics God dang I should get in the fighting games Do you know how many like 12 year olds kill me in H1Z1 <laughs> just all the time they kill me and then I hear them on the other. Good job! I'm like, God damn, kid. <laughs> okay, so uh, Cobra2031 says, when do y'all do TG stuff for H1Z1? <clears throat> well, we're not doing uh, anything for H1Z1 right now. We're talking about fighting game stuff for our Fight Club event, which we just had over at the Esports Arena in Las Vegas. We got Justin Wong here, who I'd say you were uh, in influential in putting together the, uh, the ticket. Um, I mean, yeah, like yeah. Jace hit me up asked me to contact all these players or what do I think about the fight card and I kind of like mix and match them and then introduce the players to Jace and Twin Galaxies so you know I would say I was a good part of it. Yeah and Clegg too. Hey if you guys people because Clegg's from the H1Z1 community so yeah. Adam Clegg was also he's a huge fan of fighting game yeah, stuff yeah. so this is like a lot of his dream stuff too. So here's what we have here guys on this laptop <clears throat> out of the fight club I have your match. Uh, you're going up against 
Um, Sanford and Yipes. Yeah, Sanford and yeah. Yipes. And this was a, a round robin. Mm -hmm. You guys would sit down, play, win, then switch out, and then you guys, and it, was, it would go up to the best of seven. Yeah. So I'm just going to play this. We're going to see the game play on the screen right here, and then we're going to be able to talk over it. Okay. And we're just going to have a conversation. And um, is Buffley says offline. I don't know if we're offline. If we're, hey, Neo, do you know if we went offline, or is the Twitch chat just trolling us? Okay, we're good. All right, so here, I'm going to play this right now, and let's see if this works. Let's see. All right, Neo, the, the video's rolling here. We have Sanford Kelly, the number two member so, on top, and the first person. Um, that's Golden Boy Neo. That's Golden Boy Neo, yep. And these, guys, these are going to be our casters. Yeah, he's, he's also a very good commentator as well as a player. Oh, yeah, he's got yeah. good hair, too. Yeah. yeah he's got a thick and Chris Matrix, he's from New York, and... He, me and him used to play a lot of Marvel's Capcom 2, and then now he's more of a caster. Uh, how much of a rivalry does it come into play, the, the East Coast versus West Coast and the FGC? It played a lot just because um, before EVO was established, there was a lot of, like, um, just, like, a lot of, like, not negativity, but more of, like, uh, words, you know, words exchanged between yeah. East Coast and West Coast on who's better and who's not better, right? So that happened a lot when it comes to like the time when Evo was about to happen because Evo was very pro West Coast because they're from West Coast. So, you know, there was a lot of times where, you know, a lot of East Coast guys don't like West Coast guys. Change my audio output? Oh, on the uh, Mac? Wait, how do I do that? Just go down here? I could drop it out of the screen. Watch, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, look, um, is the stream dying for anyone else? I don't know if the stream's dying for anyone else. We'll, we'll check that. I'm going to change the audio input. I'm going to, you guys can watch my output. output. You guys can watch my computer skill right here. My, my computer skill level here. Wait, where the hell's the, uh, oh, there, settings. Okay. So this way, Justin, we want to have the audio go into, do I go into the decimator, Neo, uh, Guru? Go out to the decimator audio-wise. Out to decimator. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna hit play. Come that obstacle. They can't beat oh, them, but I, oh, that's cool. I, Look at that. Learn yeah. is that what makes Justin. I'm a hacker. Is a <laughs> I'm a hacker. Watch out, everybody. I'm gonna get your bank accounts. Yes. Yes. It's allocation of. They might have to refresh. How to spend. Uh, you might have to refresh your stream. Can we turn the audio down in here just a little bit, Guru? Please. That's Thank not you, sir. To say though that from time to time, uh, <laughs> somebody doesn't care about how he allocates those resources. Yes. <laughs> and these a two little are a prime bit. example of that. I mean, they, they, they had to put everything on the line. Uh, in terms will of, figure it I mean, out. Now we don't hear anything out here. They can't he, hear anything that's in the all control he booth. Did. He, his life mission glad, was to beat oh, Justin Wong. Right. I mean, you know yeah, that. Good. Yeah. Perfect. And he persevered through everything, so, but uh, coming up first. Yeah, Cobra, Justin I don't know why I keep saying offline for you. But you know what? The VOD will be up on our YouTube page. Oh, so... Who's this guy? What what what's going on here? I was just walking in. <laughs> How'd you feel? What were you thinking coming down the steps into the esports arena fight club stage? <laughs> were you nervous? No, I mean I I actually been there because they were there. To, um, they opened up recently. The very nice arena, very nice place. So I kind of like knew the landscape and all. But it's, it's been it, but it's 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 very nice though. Like if you're in Vegas and and you want to go play some video games, you might as well go check out eSports. Sure. It's probably one of the smartest things a casino's done. Yeah. Because parents can just drop their kids there. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, my God. A lot of times where, because now you don't have to go to Circus Circus anymore. You go yeah. to Luxor. Yeah. Now, tell me about Yipes. Uh, what, he's, he's from New York. Yipes is from New York. Everyone literally that's playing here is from New York. And Yipes, me, Sanford grew up playing just fighting games at, at an arcade called Chinatown Fair. Yes. So wasn't that in the Bronx? No, no. it was in Manhattan, Ch it was in Manhattan. Chinatown. Uh, so yeah, this now. What's so? Can you give me some context for this match? This is Marvel versus Capcom Two. Mar yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom Two. So um, in New York, like I was the first one always playing one Evo before uh, Sanford and Yipes came on. Like yeah. they came on like two years after, and then Sanford and Yipes, oh, they they were just grinders. They played the Chinatown all the time. You know, I, I went there, play with them all the time, and eventually they got really, really strong. Yeah. So then they start traveling around with me to play in these tournaments. And it, it, took, it took them a while to, to finally, like, for me to lose. 
Stanford was the first one to to take out my streak. I had like a like a three to four year streak yeah. going on in Mario Skycom two for undefeated. And he beat me at a regionals at a term at a arcade called the break in New Dun New Dunullen, Jersey. And then Yipes came to Evo and he took away my Evo title in two thousand five. He eliminated eliminated me there. So you guys, th this is there's some beef going on here. There's basically. some beef going on, you know. By the way, j just an insight on the production side of this because Xander and I were producing this. Uh, when you sat on the floor, we didn't know that. So in the control room, we're like, do they not have chairs? Like people were going like, why are they on the floor? Reframe the cameras. They're on the floor. Who's? Why? Get them some chairs. No, I think they want to be on the floor. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. was a whole. Right now. There's a conversation happening in the, in the control room where we're trying to figure I'm out, like, are they you, supposed man, to be on the floor? If you <laughs> get one of those sticks, try to sit in a chair I, and play with it on your lap. No, I agree. Look, you like it, explained it's, it. It's, it's too, no, you can't. Listen, I can't even, I'm not, yeah, those are, those are very heavy things. But we, we surmised in the control room that, no, it's because the stability of having mm -hmm. it on the floor. So we get it. It's not like one of these, the sticks we have here. These are very lightweight. Yeah, lightweight, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah, those are, yeah. Um, Cobra, it says zero viewers to you. Well, you might be having a, an existential crisis there, Cobra. Maybe you're not real. <laughs> Maybe you don't exist. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thy Gord says hi. Can I four? I don't know what that means, but we, we see you there. Okay. Can I have a Twin Galaxies hoodie code for H1Z1, please? No! They all they, want the they, Twin they Galaxies. They like that. Yeah, they all want the hoodie code. We're here talking about Fight Club. So Neo Storm, who's directing the show from the control room, he's the guy in the referee outfit. He's the referee, okay. Yeah, he's the referee back there. Uh, was he helpful or was he just uh, annoying like he is to No, me? he wasn't annoying. He, <laughs> he, was, he was a little confused. Um, but then he was very good at uh, plugging in the joysticks and all. Yeah, this was, this was the most confusing match for our production because uh -huh. the way you guys were switching out the, the players. Yeah. So we, Neo has an earpiece in, so we're sending him mixed messages too. Yeah. Which is probably why he's he's being a, con a little yeah. See, that's why like we um we always ran this format. Yeah. But it's also the most exciting format because like as you can see like the match goes on like the score just kept going back and forth. There was like really like no streak. No. Yeah. No, because anyone that would get a streak, you interrupt it by switching yeah. them out. Yeah. Yeah. And we we realized that. But it, it took us about, I think, four matches before we understood the flow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, welcome to the chat there, Blue Jay 251 Yeah, Blue Jay is one of the, the Marvel 2 guys in, from New York as well. Oh, hey, Blue Jay, welcome from New York. Uh, please share this, and we hope you enjoy this. Yeah, most Marvel 2 players are usually from New York and California. Oh, okay. That's yeah. like where the rivalry comes from. What's that? Yeah, no, no, come on in. No. Yeah, no, Guru, come on in. You want to have a seat? No, no, I'm fine. We're getting technical stuff here. One of our streaming providers is having a problem, so I want to do a direct connection, so I want to stop and bring it back up to do a direct connect. So can you just let everybody know who So we're going to go offline for a minute? Just for a real quick second. Okay, so hey, everybody. Uh, there is a technical problem happening with the stream crashing, and that's one of our, our endpoint providers. So we're going to go offline for reals, but hang in there, guys. We'll be right back in about uh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds or so, and then hopefully the stream will resolve this issue and we can mm -hmm. talk to you. Blue Jay, don't go anywhere. All right. <laughs> And we have like a gigabit network here. It's not us. Yeah. It's like we have a really fast internet. But sometimes down the pipe, things don't work. This is actually kind of working pretty well. Is mm -hmm. there anything you want me to talk about or anything specifically? I'm trying to like hit all these data points. No, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm asking the right questions because if we if we do more of these, which we're planning on it, um, this this should be this could be 15. We could be sitting here in a couple of years with the number 15 there. Or like 100. Or 100. <laughs> 100 we're thinking uh if we can so well i want to make sure we're not streaming because we could be streaming i could be saying all this stuff and yeah people are going to buy our stock and that's the code everyone should redeem right now <laughs> to get all of your free merchandise well i'm glad i got that taken care of justin i, I hope they use that code wisely because we're never going to repeat what that code was yeah i definitely that just, was i definitely that, went to the store right now yeah started. you got the code yeah, good the code. yeah i mean the merch is worth thousands of dollars yeah, but yeah. uh you guys just make sure you use that code in the next 10 minutes because it's gone forever after that or <laughs> we're kidding with you some people are probably all mad. Uh, by the way, I don't know if the chat's going to come up because the chat window says uh, no channels added, but we'll get the chat up there. We'll manually change that. No chat, because the second will change. Okay, well, hey, we can't see your chat yet, but we will in a few minutes. Uh, so, anywho, 
if you're just joining us because the stream was crashing, uh, my name is Todd. I, I hang out in this neck of the woods all the time. I'm here a lot. Uh, Justin Wong is here. We're talking about our event that we just had in Las Vegas, yep. Fight Club. The one, a, a unique fighting experience for the fight community. Just dream matches. Dream we, matches yeah. from the past and the present, which yeah. is really awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And Justin, well, you were featured in one with uh, Sanford and also Yipes. And uh, we're just going over that match right now. That's what's frozen right there. That's not your computer having a problem. We actually paused the, the game right there. And uh, we're going to get the chat back up and running here. But we're just going through the match right here. And we just want to, if you guys out there in the world of Twitch have any questions, we've got Justin here if you want to say hi. Or if you were at the Fight Club event, uh, say hello. Also, we do have a, a merchandise deal going on today. We have, um, I think we have a code. If mm -hmm. you go to our merch store, and we'll put the link up in the chat, uh, they get 50% 50, they get 50 off. 50? If they, if they type in Justin. Damn, 50 is a lot. Yeah, 50 is a lot. Yeah. yeah it's like half of 100. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know if that's a lot. It's a good It's a good deal. So basically, you can get the hat and the shirt for like uh, 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I got it. I was yeah. rocking it. I didn't bring it today. Okay, so there, we got Twitch chat back. Uh, Blue Jay says, I'm, is, is new here. Say hello. Okay, Blue Jay's waving hello. Okay. Hello. Oh, and there's uh, the Nikos. The Nico Senpai? Yeah. God, Neko, can't. Neko. That means cat. Okay. Cat in Japanese. It says, hi, Justin. I can, by the way, Twitch chat is like hieroglyphs to me from Egypt. I can't read. I just, I can't. Okay. So, hey, guys. Welcome to the stream. Um, oh, okay. There. Now this feels better. Okay. I think Twitch is having problems. Hopefully it's working right now there, guys. Oh, by the way, there's in the Moobot right there in the Twitch chat. It says, today use the code Justin to get 50% off the t-shirts. Where is that uh, merch store? That's a good question. Hmm. I don't know where the merch store is. We'll post it up soon. Okay, okay cool. Uh, we actually have a little video. Hey, hey, why don't we do this? Neo, can you run that uh, merch video? Because it has the link on it. It's 15 seconds. Guys, we're going to run this merch video, and then we'll come back and we'll start this again. Okay. We'll figure this out as we yeah. go. This ain't, this ain't our first rodeo. Let's, here, take a look at this merch video. If you guys want to get 50% off the merch with the code Justin, this is the, the link you want to go to. Uh, go ahead and run it when you can. New Guru's running, that's a bad sign. See, that's the shirt, I got that. It says you want it, you need it. I got the hat, that's the set. People can get these 50%, there's the, yeah, Biddy uh, TGFC, uh, merch. Merch, <laughs> there you go. TGFC merch. TGFC merch, type in the, the number sign, Justin, hashtag Justin, and. Uh, you get everything 50% off today. Today only, or maybe tomorrow only, too. Okay, let's go back to this thing. Uh, Neo, we're going to throw the video back in here. Uh, here we go. Can you throw the overlay up? when you? Ah, look at Neo's on top of it. Okay, so this is before your match started. Uh, by the way, how was the crowd, in your opinion? The crowd was very good. Like, um... I'm not trying to like be cocky or anything, but I feel like our match was the, the highlight of, was. Of, of the show. It, you weren't, you're, in, you're accurate because you guys were, um, you guys were definitely, you brought the most energy to the, the yeah. show. This that's, was, that's just Marvel 2 in general. Like, yeah. because like we started from like an age where it was very raw, like more of like a, the Attitude Era if you compare like a WWE type of thing. Yeah. So that's how we, we kind of run things in Marvel 2. So this is this was one of the things we were just trying to make sure we had you guys on the right side of the screen too yeah. for this. Now, now um, you're beating Yipes right now at this point. Yeah, I'm more of a very defensive player, while Yipes is a very aggressive player. So as you can see, like I'm trying to keep him out. So he's forced to bring in Stormin because Magneto had very low health. Yeah. So he switches out. He taps out, or he taps someone yeah. in. So my goal is to build two two meters. Yes. So I could bring in Sentinel. So now, are, as you're at this point, are you even are you just working on reflex, or are you just like, oh, do you see a strategy? Or are you are you like? Well, the thing is, we 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 play so often in terms of like tournaments or like, and also the years that we also played that we, we kind of don't forget how people play. Yeah. So like. Yipes knows how I play. I know how Yipes play. I know, and we both know how Sanford plays. So it's something that we never, we didn't, we didn't really have to like practice too much for, because we, because we already have like that type of data. Yeah. So he looks. You guys look pretty intense right here. You guys are like. Oh now, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it is the first game, 
But it's one of those things is like, we don't want to lose our, our Storm Sentinel or Magneto Storm, right? Yeah. Because Psylocke and Cyclops, they're the weaker characters. They're more of a support cast. So because of that, we don't want them to come in to fight. Because if they come in to fight, there's a high chance that like the, the opponent will win very easily. Because they don't, because they're not that good, you know. It's like a, it's like a tier. Think of it as like a tier list. No, no, I totally, I, yeah. I follow that part. It's just, what's interesting about, to, for me, as kind of an outsider of, of this particular, because I'm more Mortal Kombat, Street yeah. Fighter, but the Capcom and the Marvel versus Capcom stuff is is a little outside of like, like my knowledge base. Yeah. To me, it's just fascinating that this game has gotten such traction. It's the same, the same thing when I think about Smash. Smash Melee, right? I'm like, how did this game grow to be like such a a thing? Well, this this is this this game's pretty much is like the equivalent in terms of Smash Melee when it comes to hype. It's I would say the only problem with the game is that it was on the Dreamcast. Yeah. And I love Dreamcast, but it's one of those systems that a lot of people would would want would not want to have because they die. You yeah. Know, they they easily get replaced. Like out of like if you're like if you've been playing Marvel 2 since the game came out. On Dreamcast, you probably went to maybe like eight Dreamcasts. Because yeah, because it, it just, just burns burn up. up. Yeah. yeah. So eventually, there's going to come a time when you can't play this. Yeah, and then also like when we plug in the sticks, luckily it didn't happen here. Like um, the sticks will just randomly get disconnected. Like the, you'll see a blue screen coming up saying like your controller is disconnected, oh my God. even though it's connected. But it didn't happen here, so the, which is very like. Fortunate. Yeah, because we were switching those sticks out a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, so we got lucky. We, the got the very, gaming we got gods very, were looking down upon us with happiness. By the way, Twitch chat right there, the Boobot. If you guys want to follow Justin Wong on the Twitter, there's his link right there. And um, Dodgy Forever says, other than hearing Todd, audio is great. Thank you, Dodgy Forever. See? <laughs> They're mean to you. Yeah, they're incredibly mean to me. Yeah, I already yeah. saw the fat neck emotes in there, guys. Not cool, dude. This is a <laughs> fight club thing. Okay, so. Right now, uh, so you beat Yipes just now. Yes. Yipes stepped out. Now Sanford's coming in. Again, mm -hmm. on a parallel track, the control room has no idea what's going on okay. at this point. We're like, wait, they're, why are they switching now? <laughs> but that's that's just a, a yeah. sidebar for this activity here. Um, so you're waiting for yeah, uh, Sanford to come in. Yeah. Okay, so this is what's happening here. Again, this is at Fight Club. Yeah, see, th this is what makes it like very exciting compared to like, okay, like if you do like a, like one set, with each person, yeah. another self, each person, another self, each person. Because what if like it gets steamrolled? Yes. Right. Then you don't want a boring exhibition. Yeah, it definitely built the drama. The drama because by uh, spoiler alert, guys. Well, I'm not going to get spoiler alerts if you haven't seen this match before. Uh, and by the way, all this stuff is all. All these vods are now up on our YouTube page over at Twin Galaxies Live's YouTube page. So if you guys want to get those vods, um, they're available right now. Uh, but this, this match was the most dramatic match of the night, mm -hmm. I would say. Uh, the second most dramatic, what do you think the second one was? I think the second one will probably be um, either Vai versus John Choi. Okay, that was a good one. Or uh, JDC are insane. Yeah. Sonic Fox got blown out a little bit too much by... Yeah, you know. it was it was pretty one-sided. Yeah, was, he, he, but then, you know, the next day... The next day, he, he turned it up. Yeah, so Sonic's like, I'll bring my A game. Mm -hmm. Uh, so tell me about so Sanford's from <laughs> New York. He's from New York as well, yeah. And you you played with him many times. Yeah, it, it's pretty much he's the one that I played the most out of everybody. Because when it comes to usually grand finals, it's always me versus Sanford in grand finals. Yeah. So it's very very common. All right. So you guys start off here. You're up one point. Yeah. Uh, one point. We got the score. There is a scorecard at the top of the gaming screen. It says Justin Wong won. And this, this match is best of seven. Best of seven. Okay. Well, first of seven. First of seven. Yeah. Thank you. I, sh I should learn to say my words. <laughs> and yeah. the, thing, the thing about the audio feed from the gameplay is you don't hear uh, the audience reacting to this. The audience mm -hmm. is very, very uh, active. Damn, I dropped that combo there, though. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell did you just... I dropped that combo. Okay. That's then I could have won. I could have been up 2-0 right now. I gotta now. see what you're talking about. Let me see if I can scroll back just enough. You said you dropped that yeah, combo. Right. It's gonna be no. Keep going back. Keep going back. I, I want to know what you're talking about. All right, just stop right here. Okay, so. So I'm on the left side, right? Yeah, you're on the left side. So you said you dropped that combo. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna hit play. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him eventually. Yeah. Right here. So look. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag and send no. Yeah. So this 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 combination right here, it's it's an instant kill. But I dropped it right there. How did you drop it? Did I you just mistimed yeah, it. Yeah, mistimed it. 
Or did he do something to counter it? No, I mistimed it. You mistimed it. Yeah, so because I mistimed it, I could have killed her, and then and then it would have been in my favorite to win the match, like, a lot. <laughs> Darn it. Th this is, again, as, as a relatively not super knowledgeable FGC yeah. observer, this seems like magic to me. Like, the combos are... There's a lot of combos you can do. It's a lot of combos and a lot of speed. Speed and mobility. Now... Even now, I'm still doing pretty good. No, you're doing great. Well, you're up one so far. Oh, but never mind. That hurt. That oh, hurt what happened there? I got hit by a by Sentinel. So what's going through your mind when you get hit by the Sentinel? You're like, damn well, it. Well, this situation, I'm, I'm, very, I'm not favored right now. Because I only have half a Sentinel against his full team, pretty much. Yeah. So that one's scary. Yeah, but you're still beating them, though. No, I'm on the, I'm on the left. Oh, you're on the left now? Yeah. Okay, that was part of our problem. Okay, yeah, gotcha. See, now that, th this is when we figured it out after yeah. this. Okay. See, now I'm dead. Yeah, gotcha. And there goes Justin Wong. So now it's 1-1. One, one. Yes. Yeah, we updated the score correctly. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, those things are pretty heavy. They, they. I'm telling you, they're they're very wide. They're heavy. It's it's like getting hit by a steel chair. Yeah, that's funny. It looks like he's putting his butt right in Sanford's face. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's very nice. Okay, so we finally in the control room right now on the parallel track are figuring out that oh, you guys are going to be uh, moving this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, who all is there today at TG? Neo plus question. Uh, Dodge you forever. Neo Storm's in the control room. Guru's here, and it's just me and uh, Justin Wong. Now, Justin, you're sitting over there probably regretting your combo misses and your your uh, tactics. Yeah. What's going? Are you just thinking about anything right now, or are you just, like, tired? Maybe both. <laughs> like, because it was a long day. You know, Evo, I, I started early, had to play a lot of games and also do a lot of, like, media stuff. Yeah. So then coming here... Like, literally, when I got here, um, they were serving uh, chicken sliders upstairs. Yeah. And that was the first meal of my day. Oh, that was? Yeah. Yeah, we had good food there. Yeah, it was very the, good. The food, we actually, here's one thing Twin Galaxies does. When we throw an event, we throw a good event. Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. we had the food, the booze, we had a VIP area for yeah, you guys. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, and if you guys are just watching this and you were not there, I think this was about 1230 at night this was happening on Saturday. It was 12, um, no, you, it was 11? a little earlier because... We oh, had yeah, to postpone right. JDCR insane match. That's right, yeah. So this is probably like, like around 11 30. Yeah. Um, the, the cat poppy says, uh, yipes. Yes, yipes is in there right now. Now, do we have them on the right side of the screen for this one? Yeah, this is the right side. Okay. Like, uh, everyone's stuck with the same team. So yipes will always have Magneto Storm Psylocke. Sanford will always use Storm Sentinel C Commando. And I will always use Storm Sentinel Cyclops. Gotcha. And uh, the kitty person, Pape, says it was like 1 a.m., so we had a viewer. So you watched this live there? How do you pronounce this? No, I think, I think that means he was in a time zone. He was yeah. watching on a stream. Yeah, he watched it live yeah. on the time zone. So that means he was like the central? Central? Yeah. Midwest? Uh, the Kempo Pape, where are you from, man? Got the Twitch chat going here, find out what time zone they're in. Yeah. I'm guessing Kansas. I'm going to say Kansas. Kansas. All right, so what, am I missing anything in vital here? Well, the most important part is when you want to beat Yipes, you want to make sure Magneto dies. Yes. So because Magneto is still alive in the background, it's, it's very scary. But Sanford's in a good position until he got hit by that. And now that will kill Storm, forcing his Sentinel to come back with not full health. So this, the thing, the takeaway from this is that the game can pivot and change just with one bad move. Yes. It's like you have to run almost every match perfectly. Yeah, you have to really just move. Like you see how like all the characters are moving very fast. It's not very stiff. Yeah. It's literally just like constant movement. movement. You kind of have to do that to make sure you confuse your opponent as much as you can. Justin, when's the first time you played this game? When it, when it first came out in 1999. So, and then, was that home? No, it was at the arcade. Is that the arcade? Yeah, because this, this game came out arcade before... Before it came out on Dreamcast. Before Dreamcast, because Dreamcast wasn't out yet. But then you got it on Dreamcast. Yeah. I and still like, watch the arcade, though. Yeah. Just because online is just better. But when did it start becoming a thing? Like... Wait, like... Like it is today. Mm. Like, that's the thing that, that, that I find fascinating. Yeah. Like, how did this game, above all the other games that came out back then, 
elevate and catch oh. to the point where there's a room full of people cheering you on. I think it's because of how, just how fast the gameplay is. Because before, there are a lot of other games that are more, they're more slow, slow paced. So yeah. when you think about it, anytime someone plays a game the first time, they just want action. So this is a very action-packed game. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, you know what's funny is that I was good at all those slow games back yeah. then. I was never good at these. Uh, okay, so you're coming back in. How do you? You're you're going to go up against Yipes. Now you already beat him once in this. Yeah. Uh, see, but the thing about Yipes is that like, it's you always you have to escape in in the beginning. So since Magneto is uh, one of the fastest characters in the game, you can't like you know how like you see both characters they're both next to each other right right away. Yeah. You can't challenge him. So you have to guess on what he's going to do, and you have to defend right. So if you don't defend right in the beginning, then you might have lost the game right there. So the first thing when, you, when you're going up against you have to block. Basically. I have to block. So, you have, and so usually having Magneto post up first is if you're not up against someone like you, that's usually they score a point or they score damage on you. Yeah, but, but, but Yaisa is probably the best Magneto that has ever lived. So because of that, it's it's he's he's definitely the most scariest out of, out of all of us, because he can definitely won't let you play because his offense is so good, he could put you in positions where you you will never have a chance to retaliate. Yeah. So, who who else would be um, really deadly in this game that didn't didn't come out to Evo this? So there's so there's a guy in the front over there on the lower right with yeah. the glasses and the shades. Yeah. So he's the currently. The only person that's playing like right now, active. Yeah, you're talking about this guy. Right the one, the one you're blocking. With yeah, the, right down here. Yeah. This guy. Yeah, his name is Chaos. Chaos. And he's very, very good. So he beat Sanford in a first to ten. Like so then, and like his homeboys were were popping off saying, "Oh yeah, if he played, if he played during our time, he would beat us." So he was like the current like best because you know we moved on to play like other games. Oh, that's right? interesting. So I call them out yeah. actually. And said, "I'll play you in a first of ten at um, SoCal Regionals." Yeah. So we played a, a first of ten. Yeah, this guy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah there he is. Yeah. So we played a first of ten, and I beat him 10-4. <laughs> to, to to show him that if you were playing, you would not beat us, type of thing. That's hilarious. Yeah. See, that's like this is why I wanted you here. I would never have known that there yeah. was that like the peanut gallery was out there, and then there's that type of uh, yeah, the call outs right there. Thank you for that. Yeah. So the only person that uh hasn't played Chaos yet is Yipes. Yipes and Chaos never played. Gotcha. But Sanford cannot beat him. Well, it's kind of nice that Chaos came out to watch, though. That's oh, yeah, well, because yeah. There's, a, there's a side tournament EVO. Like, every EVO, there's always a side tournament for the games that are not EVO. So Marvel 2 was definitely part of EVO in the side tournament ways. And, you know, he's always going to be there playing because he loves the game so much as well. Look at these people. We had a good crowd. This is, and this was, uh, Everyone was well fed. Yeah, everyone was well fed. Like, Evo was, was still going on. Uh, the fight, well, Command F. Command F. You're plugging all of us. Oh, sorry. There, thank you. Um, yeah, also, uh, bar fight was happening too. Bar fight was with, happening, Which is yeah. the Capcom thing. That guy's yelling, start the match, start the match. He just wants to see the action. You early oh, really? Go, it reminds me earlier when you're like, start the match. You see, I wasn't looking at, uh, yeah. at yeah. the crowd. Or that guy has Tourette syndrome. I'm not really sure which one it is. It, it could be either. By the way, uh, Detroit is posting a Brazilian flag in Twitch chat. I don't know. Does that mean Detroit? You're from Brazil. And uh, Az Collins is posting up. Uh, let's go Austin. Oh no, let's go Justin. Is that from? Is that a? Uh, that's one, of, one. That's one of my emotes. That's one of your emotes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, feisty Justin, right here, getting some uh, shout outs. Feisty Justin. <laughs> I like that. That should be a new Dorito chip. Yeah. The feisty Justin. See, right here. Oh. This is this is this is this is this is why you don't want you never want right. to fight against. Hold on, I got to go back because I missed it. This is one of the advantages of having the, the our little playback. So I want to go back to when this started. Right here. Oh, got to go to this guy. Went a little too far. But we're so you're saying ex explain what I'm about so, to yeah, say. So yeah, you never you never want to stay like close to Yipes because his Magneto is very very scary, and he's the fastest character in the game. So you, you never want to be next to him. Yeah. So he put me in a position where I had to guess and react, right? After he and I and I got, and I guessed wrong, which caused me to lose this game instantly. Like right here, he's see, I couldn't block that, and my other character's in, so he, I can't defend against this. Yeah. So this is where. So, 
I just noticed the look of what I would call the Justin disappointment face. Yeah. That's what I just saw happen over there as you're just watching him. So, yeah, the, yeah I could see why Yipes with Magneto would be very scary. Mm -hmm. Because that fast, you lose the game, essentially. You, yeah, you, you have no chance to retaliate or no chance to fight back. So you, that's why you have to kill Magneto as soon as possible. Yeah, but if you can't, how I do mean, you kill him then? Well, that's, you need to, you need to ha have your full team. That's why he killed Cyclops. Oh, yeah, so you have to you have to get that first move. Yeah, because Cyclops is like a it's it's a defensive defensive assist. Got so to, totally so because he took out Cyclops, I only have a Sentinel assist, which doesn't really cover against Magneto. And by the way, I just want to mention to the Twitch chat, I don't know a lot about I know enough about this game above average understanding, but I'm I'm definitely a noob when it comes to the FGC. Yeah. My gaming expertise lies in other games, but I've known Justin forever. And uh, mass respect to all this. I just I don't know the terms for Mount Marvel versus Capcom. So yeah. I apologize to Twitch chat. This is this is more of like a this isn't quite inside baseball. Yeah. <laughs> so you're already just yeah. Yeah. It's a, that's that's one of those the, the perks of just Magneto just running a shop, you know. Yeah. That was bad. So when you go over to the chair of shame, <laughs> when you go when you go sit down in the chair of shame over there as you wait for your next turn. Uh, What's, what's going on through your head there? You know, it's just one of those situations where I'm just like, those matches are, are meant to happen. Like, they're, they're going to happen regardless. Yeah. Because you can't per play perfect where, like, there's no way, you, like, out of 10 games, you won't get hit by Magneto in one of those games and just lose like that. It's going to happen based yeah. off just, like, odds and percentages. No, I, absolutely. And, and the... the the, the fractions of a second determining factors yeah. in this is just mind-boggling, which yeah. is why when you, when you have the knowledge, like I said, I have enough knowledge to appreciate it when I watch as a casual observer, but I could totally get like why maybe Chaos is there studying these things because he's looking at, I mean, you guys probably have pretty like the frame animations mapped down by this point yeah. kind of in a way. Uh, by the way, I just want to point out to Twitch chat, AZ, AZ Colin says, it's all good, buddy. Thanks for putting this on. He's talking about the fact that I don't know Marvel versus Capcom <laughs> as well as I know uh, H1Z1, for example. Uh, by the way, if you see anyone there in chat, you know, Justin, you're totally welcome to give him a shout out or anything. There's uh, Dave Hortis says, it's all school MSA sticks. The Moss sticks, yep. Yeah, those are those. That, you, that's you, not, probably, you probably can't even get them anymore. You probably have to buy it from somebody that owns it. Like, yeah. Because the... Because the because the, you know, the people that make the sticks, it was a like a old family like m like couple yeah that um, that made it and sh and they were just only like a one man like you know a two man team that you know I Mewtwo King was here this is like about a year and a half ago and I remember he flew in for something for Echo Fox and I ended up driving him to his hotel room and I'm gonna pause this for a second because I don't know what your this is going on but it, but to go off what you're talking about the sticks. Mewtwo King on the way to the hotel got a text from a dude that made custom controllers yeah. for the uh, Melee. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I need to go get these controllers because I'm here and I can't not have these. Mm -hmm. That's how important it was. Yeah. And this guy, I don't remember his name or anything, but Mewtwo King. And if you know Mewtwo King, when he sets his mind on something, he wants it. Yeah, yeah. Like He's like, I have to go get these. And he starts obsessing over it. Like, if I don't get them, I won't play well and Echo Fox will fail. That's, that's, <laughs> the, that's what it was. You yeah. want Echo Fox to fail, Todd? You take me to get these, these sticks yeah, yeah. right here. Uh, so I get it. So okay. I'm going to go back to the beginning of this real quick. And by the way, these are what we're talking about. If you're a, a total noob, these things down here is what Justin was talking about. These, yeah. these controllers. Those are very, very rare. Very rare. You very will never see them at like a GameStop. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You will never. Yeah, and you won't be seeing someone play on one of these, basically. I mean, Echo Fox is awesome, but this is a very new. Why, what's, why wouldn't you play on this? Well, because it's not compatible with Dreamcast. Well, let's say that it was. So there, there is Marvel vs. Capcom 2 yeah. for uh, Xbox 360 and yeah. PS3. So you can play it with these sticks, um, with the, uh, the, the old combo sticks on it. But the thing is, is that the game is not arcade perfect. Yeah. So Dreamcast is the closest to be arcade perfect. And, it, and that's why people play it on the Dreamcast because it's the best port out of all the ones that came out. Are you guys getting this history lesson we're getting with Justin Wong? This is helping me because I, there's so much stuff you've said today that I just like, oh, that makes sense now. Yeah. So, all right, well, let's get back to the match uh, and the importance of that stick. Okay, and here we go. So there's we're watching Yipes in Sanford, uh, New York. Would you? Are you New York or you West Coast now? I mean, I was born in New York, yeah. but but where where do you, where's your rivalry just end up now? I guess you know you like my, my flag is question mark. 
because I move around a lot. You're like Blade. You're in both worlds. It's question mark. <laughs> I have no region. Just put me on a mystery mystery flag. Okay, so uh, again, yipes with Magneto. Not a fun thing. Yeah, look, that's why you see Sanford walk away. So did Sanford get out of the? So yipes didn't commit, but you see right here. Yeah. He hit both characters. Oh, but he dropped the combo right there. But that could have been it. Yeah. Well, how come it wasn't it? Because Yipes dropped the combo. Oh, he missed so it? That was execution error on his part. So, so he, he so he could have been up three right now, like instantly. Yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, but Sanford's fighting back pretty well. So what, what do you think is going through Sanford's mind? Like, is he, does he go, I have to be more aggressive to turn this around? Or no, I have to be Sanford's mind is like, I get a second chance. <laughs> right, so now he's going to bring in Sentinel. As this is going to do a lot of damage, you see? Yeah. So now, the Manuel Storm Psylocke, it's a, it's a very fragile team. Like, they don't have a lot of life. Sano has the most life in the game. So literally one column from Sano can really destroy this whole team. Good lord. Yeah, so, so now, you're over there on the side and you're like, okay, can you tell who's going to win this one by now? I, I, I'm In my position, I'm like, oh, Sanford's about to win. Once yeah. he kills Magneto, it's over. He can't do anything. So is that, would you say, just again, this is probably a dumb question on my part, sorry chat, but is Magneto the advantage of having Magneto because he's so strong, but as soon as you lose him, you're kind of screwed? Yeah, he's one of those characters. I've got you. <clears throat> he's literally like, he doesn't really help the, like other teams that much, but he's definitely the point character. You always want to put him like first. Yeah. Because he can take advantage of using the assist very, very strong. I'm, I'm actually learning a lot from you today, Justin. This is why I wanted to do this. This was like, when we were talking about what to do after the Fight Club yeah. event in Vegas, I'm like, well, we should just, and I asked if you were going to be in LA. I'm like, we should get in here and just talk about this stuff so we learn these little insights. Yeah. So Sanford's job now is he wants to just use the Hailstorm, which is that, to, to, to take away the life. So it's like a chip damage. Yeah. So tag in Sentinel, right? So you could take Sentinel takes the hit because he has so much life. And he saves Storm and saves her for another day. And now this is it. Yep. So that right there, that means he resets the game. Yeah. So you can reset the game by hitting all six buttons on the joystick. Saying like I lost. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a rage quit. Yeah. So maybe you guys were just confused, like, hey, what happened? Like, we were confused by like, that. Was there too. a black screen? Yeah. We are, so if you're just joining the chat, the show right now, sometimes I'm, I produce the show along with uh, Xander Danke and Neostorm, who's the referee in this. And this, this particular match was confusing to us in the control room. We yeah, were trying yeah. to be like, what are they switching for? So, yeah, when you did the rage quit, I think someone from um, Esports Arena told us what it was. Yeah. By the way, Twitch chat, let's catch up on Twitch chat right here. Yeah, the classics. Magneto's just a function, bro. <laughs> Get with the times. That's very, thank you, Hidden Apache, for that. Uh, uh, Ebby Yetal said, coming in with a joke, says you ain't playing on the uh, Marvel vs. Marvel Capcom 2 on a pad. You can't. Yeah, I know. He's it's, put it's, the Kappa face you there. You can't. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, guys, if you have any questions you want to ask Justin, this is your chance. We got Justin Wong here live. This is not hologram, Justin. <laughs> we thought about that. But then we realized it would probably be easier to get you here for real life. Yeah. The hologram thing. Okay, so you're going up against Sanford. Uh, yeah, so I'm at, I'm at one. Yeah. Sanford and Yais both, both have two. You guys look like a dance-off right there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he drew first blood. Yep. Yeah, so his team, Sanford's team, is actually called, um, they, so they nicknamed team. So his team is called Santhrax. Santhrax? Santhrax. Oh. Yep, that killed me. Yeah. So now, right now, I'm just like, oh, I lost. Cause, cause my life is just, it's just there. Like, see, yeah. right here, I'm just like, I'm done. It's game over right here. Yeah. So just that fast, you already lost. Yeah. This is like when you make a bad chess move yeah, early I, like, in the match. You're I, like, I'm boned. I could already tell because Sanford's staying on top of my head, and because he's staying on top of my head, I can't really like attack as as well. I'm getting the sense that Sanford's kind of mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see the way he's pressing the buttons yeah. and like the, his uh, just his reactions. Yeah, that's one thing we, I wish we were framed down so we could see the controllers yeah. better to see the action there. But again, for Fight Club 2, we'll, we'll change all this. We're learning. We didn't know you guys were going to sit on the ground. That was a thing we learned. Yep, that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, I can tell, like, I, there's, 
You have a you have a, some looks, Justin. I, I see the one where you're aggressive, focused, and I can see the disappointment look now that I'm starting to see the subtle changes in mm -hmm. the gameplay. Like, there, I just lost. I look and I see your micro expression. See, because the problem is, is that I love my team so much. Yeah. Right. So it's a very like it's it's definitely a top tier team, but out of all out of all the top tier teams, it's probably like the weakest out of all the top tier teams. So, is so the fact that I have to fight against like a MSP and Storm Sentinel Commando, which are the two best teams in the game, so I have to guess right a lot. Yeah. So yeah, not only just guess, you have to execute through yeah. your fast twitch muscles. Yeah. To, yeah. So, by, the, by the way, there's a question from AZ Collins in Twitch chat that says, Justin, if you had to say one thing to Marvel fans, what would it be? Um, I guess the only, there's only two words to say. I know what I would say. When's Marvel? Ooh. That's it. Yeah, AZ Collins, was that, was that a good answer for you there? Uh, only way to get the most out of those sticks is to sit on yep, the ground. You yeah. can't play on your lap. Yeah, we, we're, we learned that. That was uh, something we learned. By the way, we do. I think we have a subscribe button on the Twin Galaxies uh, Twitch page. If any of you guys feel like subscribing, you get some emotes, which are being shown right there. We got the Walter Day emote, the Twin Galaxies logo. Very rare. Mm -hmm. It's a very rare uh, high tier Pokemon. Okay, so what's going on here? Okay, so <laughs> let me guess. Yeah, I'm just going to start with Magneto. Always. There's so, no reason not to. So let me see. As a noob to Marvel, to understand these subtleties, let me tell you, I, I'm going to try to tell you if Sanford countered Magneto. Okay. So let's see. So he blocked there. So yeah. now Sanford gets to fight. Okay, so now it's pretty evenly matched. Yeah. So now it's anyone's game. Yeah, but now Yipes is in there. That is scary, man. You have to, yeah, so it seems like Sanford's getting the... the you, you have to run from Yipes. You can't fight him. Yeah. See, you, this is where Yipes messes up. Wait, Yipes messes up how? Because he, he, Psylocke came, came out by accident. But then Sanford messes chance for offense, so now Yipes has a chance to fight back again. Do you know what this reminds me of? Hmm. It, it reminds me of when I went over to this professor's house and he was talking about complex math. Yeah. I just didn't understand. Like, my brain, like, you're, you are looking at something completely different <laughs> than what I'm looking at is what I'm trying to get at. You know, at. it's one of those situations, <laughs> like, this game has one of, like, the highest, like, like execution barriers and also, like, dexterity-wise. Yeah. So... When people, like, th like, this game was such a successful tournament game, so once, like, EVO forced, EVO pretty much, like, said, you know, we're not going to have Marvel 2 anymore because Marvel's Capcom 3 came out, and they really hated Dreamcast. Yeah. Because Dreamcast is really a pain in a butt to work with, especially when, like, they just die and you have to find new ones. Like, they're not consistent, right? Yeah. Like, Dreamcast is, like, the main reason why this game didn't really, it's not, it's not an EVO to, up to this day. Like, there was literally a, um, the end of EVO, one of them, I think it was 2010, no, 2008, where um, the staff took the Dreamcast and smashed it with, like, a sledgehammer. What the hell? Because it's, like, pretty much, we're done with Marvel 2. Yeah. We're going to a different game. But the fans, on the other hand. Yeah, I mean, anytime there's Marvel 2, in terms of, like, tournament or exhibition, the fans will always watch it, because when it comes to, like, history... They, they think about this as the most important part because before, like, this game always um, had, was the last event at EVO. Yeah. It was always the main event for, like, top eight and everything. That's fascinating. I just noticed, by the way, Yipes won again. It looks like Sanford was, had him on top a little bit. Yeah. Oh, can you hear the casters when you're down there? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, again... Um, Neo Storm dripping it, dipping in there a little bit. What are you, what are you saying to Sam, uh, Yipes at this point? No, I think he was like saying like uh, he was he was saying that oh yeah, Sanford didn't block his legs, meaning like he didn't block low. Gotcha. So that's why Yipes clipped him in the end and got the win right here. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And again, there's the crowd. A lot of arms folded in that front row. No, no, those are the that's chaos and the team. Yeah, those are the those are like the Marvel <laughs> two guys that still currently play the game. They can't help it. They're just like, uh, eh, we're judging, <laughs> judging. Okay, so let's see how you do against Magneto here, Justin. Walk us through this. So you know, my goal is I already got hit a couple times, so I need to just pretty much run away as much as I can, kill Magneto as soon as possible. See, I blocked right there, yeah. so that was very scary. Actually, it's so fast. Yeah, that is. It's like it's like a quick draw. Yeah. Like, if you were in the Old West, you guys would have shot the bullets yeah. in the air at each other. 
Yeah, so right now I'm just staying in the skies, running away from him. All right, so that was a big hit on yeah, Magneto. Yeah, took that... some damage. But so... even then, even if he, it doesn't matter how much life Magneto has, because even if he has like a pixel, he yeah. could, if he hits you, it's the same as he hits you his full life. Yeah, just a little, yeah, gotcha. Uh, by the way, um, Harlem has a question. Uh, who taught Justin Marvel vs. Capcom 2? How did you learn your strategies? Just going to the arcade, playing against like people all the time and just trying out all the characters. You know, like, there was no YouTube back in the day, but, I mean, people, there were so many tournaments, like, tournaments around, like, Philadelphia, Virginia. So you just go to all of them, and you fight against people that have, like, different strategies, right? Everyone from different arcades will have, like, a different strategy compared to, like, current the current meta, where you could just copy strategies online. Yeah. And, and by the way, if you guys are just joining the stream, you have no idea what this is. We did a big live event in Vegas over the weekend oh, called that, well, that the, the Twin Galaxies Fight Club. Yep. And this is Justin's match, which is probably the most emotional match in terms of like the way the crowd reacted yeah. of the night. And uh, we're just getting some deep insights with Justin Long right here as he's going up against Yipes. At the top of the game screen, you can see Yipes is up three matches. Justin's got one. Yeah, so like this is scary because I'm in the corner and Cyclops, like I said, Cyclops and Psylocke are not like the strongest characters, so trying to defend against Storm is not that easy. Yeah. So I got, I got him out. Now we could play the slow game right here. Yeah, the slow game, which is still incredibly fast. Yeah, but for me, I'm, I'm trying to defend and like hit her like two times. Because if I hit her two times, like with just like one bun, yeah. then it's, uh, she, they're pretty much dead, like right here. Do you just see things in slow motion, Justin? When you're playing this game, like it's not as fast for the player. <laughs> when you see a hummingbird, can you count its wing flaps, Justin, when you see it flying? <laughs> So what's he doing? It looks like he has a So trying he's to trying avoid. to build meter to get two to bring back Storm. Gotcha. In. Yeah, gotcha. And I'm just trying to like wear out and not get hit by by the the DAC. So there's a lot of strategy in this game. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna bring Cyclops. No, nope, I didn't bring Cyclops. Then never mind. I would I I probably would have done it, but didn't have to. So well, now okay. he's gonna bring in Storm again. Why were the cows were shouting? He went low. Because. Sendo has a 50-50 where he could go high or low, so you have to kind of block it. It's an instant block. Gotcha. So now it's over. Yeah, so, ah. he, so he turned it off. Because he was like, there's no way I can make a comeback. I have to block this, and the chip damage would have been enough for him to, for Storm to die anyway. So he essentially just knocked over his chest piece and just yep. got up and walked out. Uh, well, cool. Now, what are you thinking here? You're like, okay, I, I, I'm back on the board. I'm in this. You know, back in, I'm trying to, like, get get the streak going, you know? Try run, trying to run a... Because there was a, the first time we did this, I was um, Sanford was at match point at six. Yeah. And I start and I was at one. Yeah. And I made a six game win streak. So that's what I was thinking. Like I wanted to like, just get the engines roll running and get the streak going. Dude, I see now how having this format screws up streaks mm -hmm. because you can't build on that momentum. You can't. You have because to reset. it's a different opponent every time. Yeah. That's that's a. That's an interesting uh, mechanism. By the way, I want to point out Hidden Apache in Twitch chat says it's like melee looks way faster when spectating versus tuned in plane. Yeah, I, I, that makes sense. But I'm also, Hidden Apache, I'm old. I'm just old. I think I just see things <laughs> slow, you know? All right, so what happened? So you're, you seem to be getting the best of. Yeah, uh, right now, th this is where I'm just like favored to win because I'm going to kill Storm right here. Yeah. So she dies. So Sando's about to come in. So now if I could defend against this. Oh, yeah, this looks, this looks good in my favor. Yeah, see right here? Sanford's like helpless right now. Yeah. Yo, he just quit. Yeah, because he, he knows. Cause, yeah. Yeah, because he knows like <laughs> Sentinel's about to die. So Com Captain Commando can't do anything to make a comeback. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a fast match. Yeah. The, by the way, if you guys were there live in the arena, the entire arena went yeah. like, oh, yeah. That was a. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. Um, by the way, anybody in chat was out there live in Vegas with Justin and I? Let us know. Want to hear? Want to hear from it? Uh, big shout out to the esports arena. They they helped us put on this event last yeah. minute. We we kind of turned this around in a couple of weeks. It was very last minute. Yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll do more. And by the way, guys, uh, the Moobot just posted the YouTube page. If you guys want to watch all the individual vods and the best. Uh, 
fidelity possible. We post them, we broke them all out individually. They're all up on our YouTube page right there at Twin Galaxies Live. So guys, go over there, embed those videos, share them, whatever you like. They're there for you alls. And uh, Hidden Apache says, oh wait, no. Hidden Apache says, let me just say I'm real appreciative of the FT7 and the recap. Are you guys uploading this? Yes, uh, if you look above you, Hidden Apache, there's a uh, link to the YouTube page. Anyways, let us go. Uh, you, what are you talking to uh, Yipes about here? Oh, I mean, we had, we had to switch the stage. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, it's one of those. Because the music? Yeah. Yeah, you're playing the Led Zeppelin music, which we, we don't have rights to. Yeah. That's one of the fun things when you start getting bigger. You can't do those things Yeah, see, anymore. that's why um, another thing about what's very convenient about Dreamcast is that because uh, maybe if someone wants to get in the game, you don't have to really, it's really hard to find a copy. Yeah. But because of Dreamcast and what you could do with it, you're able to play on a, a very special mix. So, you know, I appreciated it. That's the power of Dreamcast. That's the power of Dreamcast. That's the pro. That's the, what's one of the pros of Dreamcast. I wonder if they all ever bring it back. Oh wait, no, they can't. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, okay, so. So right now I'm just trying to run. Look, I'm scared. Like he's yeah. so close to me. I'm like back up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. But you landed some shots in there too. Yeah, but but even that you hear the catchers like, oh my god, like they just want like, because they know that the like if you look at Yipes' face, he is so like determined to hit me. Yeah. Yeah, he's a pretty intense guy. Yeah. Very articulate, very passionate too. Oh wow, he didn't die from that. Look at that. He literally had like no picks. He literally had no life. So right now I'm in a good position because this match is like, it's very like even. Yeah. Like he can't really bully me, and I and I, I like that the fact that he can't bully me. And Sendo does, since he has so much life, he can afford to take these hits. Taking those hits, indeed. Yeah. But against a regular character, a regular character would have died against Storm already. So you're, you're now at this point, you're... Yeah, I'm low on health. Yeah, but you're still feeling pretty... Yeah, uh -oh. still pretty good, because as long as it's not Magneto. Oh, this is uh -oh. this is gonna be scary though. Uh oh. So it's just Cyclops against against a full team. Yeah, well, Cyclops. If there's one thing I've learned about him, is he can't close the deal with. Um, oh, I can't remember her name. For, I totally failed on that Jean joke. Gray? Yeah, thank you, Jean Grey. Yeah, thanks. Yes. So are you tuning out the broadcasters at this point? The casters. Like when you're playing like this, you're not really hearing what they're saying. I can hear them, but I mean, I'm not paying attention yeah. to them. Yeah. So right now, it's, he's Yipes is trying to like wear me wear me down, because because Storm against Storm, you, it's one of those characters that you just wear down. Just little by little. Yeah, just it's do like the hailstorm all day. But is that because Storm can't do like large chunks of damage? She can. It's just, but it's just, she's better as a defensive character. A defensive character in the sen sense of like she's a meat shield? Not a meat shield, but more like she has ways to just like keep you out. So you can't have a chance to attack. God dang, man. Yeah. And that super, the super, it, it, it just like smacks people all day. Yeah, how did you learn these strategies? I want to go back to Hidden Apache's question. How did you <laughs> learn these things? It's just trial and error. Eventually, like you have to pay money to play this game. You don't want to like pl pay. Yeah. Looks like you're going to take this one. Yeah, see, he, he's not happy about that because I took out Psylocke. Yeah. And now I can just run away against against him. And he can, it's, he has to try to open me up. Yeah. And then, of course, there, this is a timed match. So at the end of the timer, it's whoever has the most health. Yeah. So, yeah, see, so and that's why, that's why sometimes you see the rage quitting happening. Yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Ah. I know the time. <laughs> What's that? I don't have one. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to jump ahead in this a little bit. Hi, Don. Yeah. Well, we'll run the promo. <laughs> hey. Uh, we'll run the promo and stuff. So we've got, this is, the, this is the tricky part. So, Justin, we've got 40 minutes of video. Yeah. And we've got 20 minutes of stream time. <laughs> So we might have to jump forward in this a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this match is long because it went down to the wire. Yeah. So it was 7-6-6. Uh, seven, six, six. Yeah. So that's 19 matches. So I might, go, I might jump a little ahead here. Is that okay? okay? Let's, yeah. let's jump ahead, guys. Sorry. Let's jump. Let's go to, we'll go after this match. 
we want to try to stay on a, a we want to stay a little bit on time here, guys. By the way, uh, if you guys are wondering, like, oh, man, I want to see all the matches, guess what? They're on our YouTube page, okay? So here, here's what we'll do. Um, hey, Neo, stand by with the merch video. So we had T-shirts and hats mm -hmm. out at the Fight Club with our logo on it. And uh, because, Justin, you came all the way out here to Beverly Hills to hang out with us and give us this deep dive into the match, uh, if you use the hashtag Justin code at the merch site that you'll see on this video, on the link, uh, you get 50% off. So I think it's the shirt and the hat for 30 bucks. Okay. So guys, order that because the next time we do it, it's gonna be number two. You you won't be able to get the Fight Club. There's only you can't, like- You can't get number one anymore. No, number one's gonna be gone. Okay. This, this will be something, if this goes to number 30, number 40, number 100, you will wanna be rocking the Fight Club one shirt. You, go, you, you could put it on eBay for lots of money. You can, that. so you-, you yeah, just like the UFC. Imagine going to UFC today with a UFC one shirt. So there you go. So uh, Neil, run this video. It's it's uh, the the website's uh, TGFC merch. But here, just take a look at the, the video real quick. And we'll come back and we'll wrap this up. commercial straight to the point yeah straight to the point we don't waste your time here because we want to get back to the gameplay action and uh i bought one actually i went out and i bought one at, okay. i think i was the second person to buy a yeah, shirt i know they were selling it at evo yeah like at, at the meta thread store yeah they were so selling it. We, we sold a couple but uh get them now because they're 50 percent off guys all right let's go back to the match yeah justin is the code justin's the key guys justin's the key <laughs> uh yeah thank hashtag you hashtag justin yeah hashtag justin all right so here we are we're back uh it's Okay, so Justin, you you've got to win this one. We're we're if you look at the top. Oh wait, can we see the overlay real quick there, yeah. Neostorm? This is one of the situations where um, Sanford's at match point, and yeah. I have to win this to keep going. Yeah, and and just for the people that are just joining us, uh, up here at the top of the screen, these these are, oops, sorry, these are the scores over the uh, course of the entire match, and uh, if you don't win this one, you're out. That means it's best well, it's I mean, first to seven. Me and Yikes were both out. Yeah, you Sanford and Yikes would have been the victor. Yeah, okay, because Sanford's playing. So mm -hmm. if Sanford wins, then yeah, he, he's taking this. Okay, so let's let's go on because this is how much pressure are you feeling right now? Um, I mean, I've been in, in situations like this a lot, so it's it's not bad. Okay. And also, because we're playing Marvel Two, I'm also having a lot of fun because yeah. it, this is one of those games where I could play play for like 24 hours. It, it, I could understand that. It's, it's, there's a lot of, I'll be, this is what I might take away from talking to you today. There's a lot more variability in this game than I imagined. Yeah. I knew it was complicated, but Jesus, criminies. Yeah, it's definitely one of those games that you just won't know what happened, <laughs> like where the time went, because it's just so fun. So you must be feeling pretty good at this point because it looks like you're you're dealing some more damage and you've got a bit of a rhythm. Well, it's because I'm because of the score situation. I'm trying to run away and not give Sanford any chance to attack and kill my storm. Because once my storm dies, then it's really hard for my Sentinel and Cyclops to make a comeback. Compared to his team, where Commando is a be much better support for for Sentinel. Yeah. But I like Cyclops because Cyclops fits Storm and Sentinel better. And I got the hit right here, which it lets me ki kill Storm. Yeah. So now Sentinel comes in with like 70% instead of 100% because of the red life. So this is looking good for me right now because I still have a whole team compared to him. But Sentinel Commando is still not a slouch. You can't sleep on them. So, so I'm just trying to get as, 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 as much hits as I can before I bring back Storm in against this team because Sentinel Cyclops will lose to Sentinel Commando. Yes, because, yeah. Yeah, because you see that? That's like the giant blue light. It covers literally that whole area while Cyclops only covers like the ground. Good lord. Do you ever think back to the people who made this game? Like how did they I did mean they, they know? They definitely didn't know. They didn't know what they had created. They right? didn't they didn't know anything like that. Yeah, so now Sendo's about to die, so I'm in a very good position. Yeah, so now I'm gonna chip him out, run away with Storm. So I can so, do more hailstorm. So right now, Sanford hasn't quit. Obviously, he hasn't quit he can... because he could, because he could switch to commando like right here. Yeah, and then he could still and and regen the the sentinel life. The red life will regen. Gotcha. So commando has full life. 
and my life is not that much of a difference where he can't make a comeback. And he has to keep playing because technically this is his last game, right? Yeah, so he's going to go out. He's going to leave it all, you yeah. know. And then, of course, the timer runs out. If the timer ran out now... If the timer ran out, I would win right here. Yeah, so mm -hmm. so right now, like, his, his Seno come, has a lot more life now, right? He has more health now. And then my Storm is about to die. But I was able to bleed Sentinel, put him back to red health. So now he has to really make this as his last chance. If he doesn't, then it's over. It's getting, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. it's close. And I'm just holding up back, because at this point, he, he, it's really hard for him to kill me. Yeah. Yeah, see, one, zero. What? Yeah. So the, now it's all tied up. Yeah, we shouldn't watch this next match, though. We shouldn't? We shouldn't watch it. We shouldn't watch it? Match. Okay, yeah. we just stop. Nah. No. I, it's a very fast. The last one's very fast. Uh, yeah, this next match. Because it's one of those situations, well, like I said, like Magneto's going to get one of those games, you know what I mean? Okay, well, here's the thing. Let's, let's pause this just for a second. Hey, Twitch chat, who have not seen this match. <laughs> it's very, I mean, it's tied up 666. Yeah, so. The devil's number. Yeah, the, the mark of the beast. Uh, for the people who haven't seen this match, who do you think is going to win in Twitch chat? Do you think Justin or Yipes? Because <laughs> spoiler alert, I'm not saying. I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let it be. I'll let it play out in in our video here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll go back to this real quick. Um, oh look, see, so someone says Justin. Uh, I think Yipes because my man go in. He, I mean, he does go in. Yeah. Magneto does go in. Yeah. Sanford. No, <laughs> Sanford can't win. I think Justin wins. The people win. You know what? That's uh, a good answer. Yeah. Joe's and Bolt, that is a good answer. The people did win. Because I would say this was the people's matches, this mm -hmm. whole the fight club. And by the way, earlier someone asked if we're planning on doing another fight club and win. We don't know when yet. We are planning on doing one. We just have to do it in a way that makes economic sense. Because uh, there are certain things that have to do. Hey, Xander, you want to come join us? We're on the last match. You, yeah, you might have to widen out the center camera a little bit, and then you can go. Okay, come come sit down. This is Xander, who is the uh, directing the show uh, for us, who works here. He's going to come join us for the last match. Uh, What's up? Hey, uh, Xander, dang, we're going to widen out. So now we got we got a guest, Xander here. Hey, Xander. Okay, so we're going to play this. By the way, um, AZ Collins says, "Yeah, this was a really cool event. I hope you do more. We are planning on doing more, and you guys can help by buying our merchandise and uh, sharing our YouTube videos and all that stuff because they are up on our YouTube right now." Okay, let's play this. Let's go. This is yeah, it. See, everyone's hyped because it was the last match. This yeah. is like the last match going. I think they're hyped because it was six six six. Yeah. I think these are all Satanists. I mean, it's <laughs> it's, we, also, it's also one like if it was like a wash, then obviously you, you won't get the crowd to hype to get hype as much. No, like I don't know. I, I don't believe that you guys talked about it ahead of time. No, we and, didn't. And no collusion, but it happened. It you happened guys like, this. like nailed it as far as making it exciting. It's the most dramatic in, thing possible. I mean, in the booth, it was just it was so exciting to watch. And then it was six six six. Yeah. And I was like, this is this is exactly what we hoped for instead of like six one one or Yeah, even um your homeboy was like that was rough and he was surprised. He was like, What's the score now? And I'm like I'm like, Oh, it's like six six six. He's like, Wow, really? <laughs> even he was surprised. Yeah. It's hard to surprise Neo because he ha he knows everything. So now here, okay, Magneto's there, this, Justin, this, you're this like this is the scariest part right yeah, here. You're like, this is it. You see, even the caster is like, oh my yeah. god, <laughs> is he going to guess right? And so far, it looks like you guessed right. Yeah, I mean, I'm out. See, but then this is one of those things that you have to kind of be, be worried about. See, right here, it's over. Uh, it's over already? Yeah, it's over. Oh, look at your face, it's Justin. Over. Look. I, it's already over. Look, Hold I, on, I'm, I'm going to go over. back and just look at that yeah, moment. It's over. Tell me, what, what's, this, what's that move? What is the, so pretty much, what's the Magneto? Pretty much there's a thing. Because I saw it happen during yeah. the night a couple times. So pretty much there's a thing called, um, a command called snapback. Okay. Where you you set you snap the main character out and you bring in the next character. All right. So okay. if you do that to two characters, only the the point character leaves, so your assist stays in. Oh. So the assist can't defend. So I that's see. why he was just like like. So he caught you. Up. He caught you on a snapback. Yeah. And, and that's why and he was, was able to just do. Up. Okay. So I rewound it. All right, I rewound yeah. it. This is the moment again. Watch Justin's face too. You can see yeah. when he realizes and, and he that, lost. That's where you, that's why Magneto's scary because he's. It, this 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 situation happens so much. It's common. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
So, because you uh, you had main you had your main storm in there, yeah, right? Yeah, he, he and you the brought rope. in. I, you I brought I in Cyclops, Cyclops as a defensive tool. Yeah. So I kicked them out. So right here, it's just it's it's bad. Uh, and then it was just done. Yeah. See this, and and Magneto can easily just take advantage against Sentinel when without an assist. As you can see, he just keeps comboing me and juggling. Right. Jesus, 30, 40, that's a lot of hits. You can go up to 200. That's what's crazy. I mean, I, I feel like definitely MVC2 has a, a little bit of a slower pace as opposed to like the, the later versions, which when I watch those combos get really high, it's just overload. This yeah. one, this one's a little, a little easier. Yeah, to the best part about Marvel 2 is that it's not about the combos going up. It's right. literally about the speed and just the mobility and action right. just going on, like where the screen just keeps changing up and down, yeah. where are you going, Marvel 3 and Infinite, yeah, it's really Infinite. about just trying to hit the opponent and just swagging out. Right. Well, and you didn't go out without a fight. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I have you, no choice. I can't, you have I, no I, choice. You got to get some damage Yeah, I'm trying to there. fight. I was afraid it was going to be so super one-sided. Oh, no. A blowout? Well, once he, yeah, once he got you on the on I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, it's still one-sided. It's just that... I'm, I, I'm never the type that will always like, all right, give, give up the control. I will always try to fight, right. no matter what. Like, if you're right. gonna kill me, if you want to win, you have to make sure it says KO. Right. Well, it's one sided, but you got a couple base hits in there. Yeah. You know, you got a man on base. Ah. Uh. And this is cool. You, and again, for the people that are new to the Fight Club community, th these are you guys have been friends for just decades. We we've, we've been playing this game uh, since 1999. So the fact that we've known each other for that long and playing against each other in the arcades growing up as kids, you know, it's, it's obviously coming from that to playing at eSports Arena for Twin Galaxies. It's, you know, it's literally like day and night. Yeah. So it's very nice. Uh, I know we're, we're, we're good on time real quick. I'm just going to go see it. I think there might be some post-game interviews here. Um, let's see what, uh, what was said here. Yeah, our, our, I thought our host was delightful. She yeah, was, she, she was, she's 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 a very good host. She hosted many other events as well too. She's also um, lives in New York. Yeah, I, and, and I and she's a super Marvel fan. Like yeah, of all right. the of all the games that night, she definitely got most hype about the Marvel events. Yeah, she has a Marvel podcast, so they do she, they go. do stuff like that. that. Makes sense. And this was a big deal having Marvel 2 there. Now, did did the Fight Club event? Did you see it influence anything that happened at Evo, in terms of programming or just talk? Like, did, were people aware of this event? Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of people have uh, just talked to me on social media saying it was amazing, especially the Marvel 2 one, because anytime there's a Marvel 2 event, like it's just one of those things that you can't miss. So I'm going to jump to Yipes because we're running out of time here, and I want to get some more You're feedback. Uh, we're out of time. <laughs> Guru tell me we're out of time. We're, we're going to be out. Oh, here. I just want to get Yipes saying his, his little. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. Yeah, one of the matches, they, the game definitely robbed me. I had definitely yes. had more health. You just needed more time. It was, didn't you need no, no, more time? No, when it says time over, yeah. I, I, my character had more health, but the game granted oh, it to Yipes. Interesting. So I definitely was robbed there. Just throwing out there, you know? Well, then you would have had seven first. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got one more minute on this video. I just want to hear what Yipes has to say. People, uh, people don't understand that uh, this game made me who I am today. I'm talking about to the point where it made me a caster. It made me a better, most importantly, it made me a better person. Just because of the people I met on along the way. I give a big shout out to the Marvel 2 community, just the FGC, uh, period. Absolutely, ICA is such an important part to the community that we have right now, but you can't forget, he started off as a threat, a competitor, who was always someone to look out for in tournaments, and to this day. So anybody feeling themselves right now, anyone thinking they stand a chance against you, what do you have to say to them? <laughs> um, if it ain't the three titans, you're not messing with me, period. See, that was a shot to I'm Chaos. And, and Chaos is right in the front yeah, row. That was a shot. You know, that's that the funny part. We're going to kick it to a quick break, <laughs> but we are going to have some Tekken 7 action coming up right when we get back. Commentated by Rip and Tasty Steve. I know I said that earlier, but we mean it this time.
Thank you so much, IFCIs, and we'll be So there we go. That was, uh, that was a little bit of the stuff happening there. Uh, Neil, yeah, there we go. So that, that was a little recap of your fight. Yeah. We wanted to get a little deep dive into that and stuff, and, and this is the first time Twin Galaxies put on the Fight Club event out in Las Vegas. If you had to give us a Yelp review, a Yelp review. What, what would you give the Yelp review for Fight Club? We had food, we had booze, we had good games. Let's see. The food was very good. The fried chicken sliders. Those were great. They were very great. I mean, the event overall was awesome because I'm one of those guys that likes to just watch matches and I'm a spectator. I was there since the beginning of the show. So I saw all the matches. So the fact that I, I was able to have fun, play in the competition, have some good food, and just seeing the crowd react to just like the game I grew up on, I mean, to me, it was like a perfect event. Uh, Xander, any thoughts? How how'd you feel about everything out there? Xander, the director of the show. Hey, uh, I I mean I thought it was exciting seeing each one of those. I love the the outpouring of support for the Marvel community. Like everyone, specifically the Marvel groups, were very excited to be there and to be showcased because they weren't at Evo. And uh, otherwise, it was fun seeing you know game after game after game in these high level matches. Uh, it felt like a you know a boxing event going to and seeing just. The, these great fights. Well, hopefully we'll do more. Hopefully the next merch will be uh, Fight Club 2. So, but you guys want to get your Fight Club 1, we have a merch store. Uh, it's going to be linked in the Twitch chat. We've been rolling all that stuff. But again, if you use the hashtag code Justin, you get 50% off. So a hat and a t-shirt for 30 bucks. Guys, get it. Because when you're at, when we do Fight Club 15, you're going to be one of rocking that, that Fight Club 1, like us, us OGs, <laughs> you know? And also, finally, uh, AZ Collins in Twitch chat says, Justin, has the meta for MV MVC2 changed at all? Uh, ST has evolved over time. Do the current players have new stats? I would say the only thing that changed is uh, Chaos. Chaos is really good. He has changed the meta in terms of just like execution-wise and what, other, what the top two characters can do. But in terms of the, the tier list, the characters are still the best characters since day one. Nice. Awesome. All right. Well, there's your question. Now, listen, hit us up on the Twitters, on the uh, Instagrams, Facebook, whatever. We have all of our social media linked in the chat right there. So uh, find us there. We're going to get out of here right now. Uh, but I wanted to thank you, Justin, for doing this, yeah, for no helping problem. put the event on. You're key oh, to making gosh. these matches happen. Mm -hmm. I don't think you guys realize how behind the <laughs> yeah. scenes Justin Wong was on putting Fight Club I together. I mean, when it comes to just supporting the fighting game community, it's always a blast for me to do that. Well, we, we want to do more, and I'm glad to see you here. Uh, Xander, thank you for all your work. You guys don't realize that this was the man behind the curtain making everything work, too. And with guys, a, with a big team, with a big team. Oh yeah, team effort. <laughs> yeah, and uh, right there in the old uh, Moobot is linking out that I do have a Twitter at the Todd Roy, and if you want to follow me on Twitch, uh, it's Twitch at twitch.tv slash Todd Roy. Guys, we're gonna get out of here, but do not leave yet because we're gonna play our music video again. Oh no, Street Fighter <laughs> All Nighter from 2010. <laughs> yeah, Neo Storm. Oh, we'll we'll put the merch link up in the in the Twitch chat here in a second. Az Collins, okay. But in the meantime, enjoy the music video, Street Fighter All Nighter. Look for a young Justin Wong and me in a dress, <laughs> along with Jace Hall and other, and Matt Mercer is in it. A whole bunch of uh, Tazon Days in it. Ice T Sun, Little Ice is in this video. Oh, really? Yeah, hmm. guys. Uh, Neo Storm, go ahead and play the video so we can get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all soon. And follow and subscribe for the love of God.